shoulder, right? Let's go over it again. Okay. Diamonds are forever. Latissimus dorsi, right? Dorsi. Mm -hmm. Spinotrapezius. Spinotrapezius. Acromiotrapezius. Clavo trapezius. And what was this one? The vagator scapulae ventralis. Okay. Now here's what happens. There's a whole bunch of muscles on the scapula and between the scapula deep under this trapezius muscle that's on the surface. So if I take the trapezius back, you got a whole new world under there. Oh All right? Gosh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you gotta know it. Okay? Do you see the scapula? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. The scapula actually, if you feel it, and you can feel it now, not on the exam, has a spine that runs like this, that this acromiotrapezius is on. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's that spine of the scapula you learned about. There's a muscle above the spine. What do you think it's called? Just guess. Look at your list. Acromion. Epi. <laughs> Superior to oh, the spine. spine. Supraspinatus. Supra there you go. Yeah. Supraspinatus. Okay, so the one that's Supra above spinatus. the spine okay. is okay. called the supraspinatus. This whole muscle right here. Okay. okay. How about the one just below the spine? Infra. Infraspinatus. Infra Good. Supra and infra. Okay. Above the spine. How about the one on the armpit edge that you've already learned? It's not on the scapula. Remember, you saw the smooth side of the scapula, and First then you saw muscle on the edge. What's that one called? Teres majoris posterior? No, this is the teres major. Teres major. It's right on the armpit edge of the scapula, but this is what it looks like from this view. Okay? Teresa. That's 47, which is on some other cat over there. Okay? So I'm just going to do this. Teres major. Because, you know, I've already done that one. Okay? Now, if you look, there's a whole bunch of muscles holding the scapula to the vertebrae, and they're right here. Do you see all those? Okay, mm -hmm. these ones right here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, those have a flattened rectangle shape. Do you remember what that shape was called? Rhombus. Rhomboids. 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 Yeah, these are your rhomboids right inside here. All of these are your rhomboids, okay? So that rhomboidious. whole group is called rhomboidous, okay. except for one special one, mm -hmm. the one on the top. The one that is called the rhomboidus capitus, which means going to the head, right? Or the levator scapulae dorsalis. Okay. That's this one. And take a look at the levator scapulae. Look at the ventralis. It's a little thicker. It's got a little fat hanging off with the coracobrachialis that you don't do. Okay, so we'll move that one. See how they both go way up into the neck? Mm-hmm. So I've got the levator scapula dorsalis and ventralis. They go to the occipital mm -hmm. bone. They go way up in the neck, okay? Levator scapula ventralis was what, 137? Okay. So those two go way up into the neck, and I usually do the nice thing of this to remind you they're going up into the neck, okay? Oh, okay. Got it? That's very nice. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was really nice, too. Pointing out the obvious is always very helpful, okay? So, you know, the rhomboids will be in a block like this. Yeah, and, you know, we'll probably do something like wedge something in the shoulder so you can see that the shoulder is apart, so you can see where the rhomboids are. Mm. But for this one, I'm going to do something like that. So you know, hey, this is going way up into the neck. Okay? Oh. And it's a different muscle. Yeah. Okay? Slash. Mm -hmm. All right. There's one more muscle I have to show you. And that muscle is something called an intercostal muscle. <coughs> so I'm going to put this one on the front table oh, there oh. where Nelson and Kim are. Okay. Yeah. What is an intercostal? What does that sound like? Inside ribs. Okay. So you have to see ribs. See, there's no ribs visible here. There's a serratus under a whole bunch of fat. There's no ribs. Okay. So what you have to do, and I'm going to get under like mammary gland tissue and this muscle. What's this big muscle on the edge called? Mm -hmm. External. Outer oblique. external oblique. 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 Exactly. And what's this one under it that Internal I'm dissecting oblique. towards? Internal oblique. Mm, what's the one that goes straight up and down? Oh. Transverse. Rectus. Oh, rectus. rectus. Yeah, abdominus. Yeah, abdominus. Yeah. So I'm up pulling under all this stuff. See that rectus yeah. going straight up and down? Yes. Okay. So you got to kind of get under this external oblique where the ribs are to see the ribs. You know, otherwise you don't see ribs. Actually, this cat's kind of fat, so you don't see them anyway. <laughs> I think about barbecue. So sad, because you should see ribs right there. Ribs. <laughs> Talking <wrong>. barbecue? <laughs> oh my god, you guys are scary. <laughs> yep, marinated cat. Oh my god. god. That before you were really gonna make me throw up. <laughs> These are preserved cats. Yeah.
Is that I, now fat? I could see. Yeah, that's fat. Uh, this, is this is a fatty cat. Well, she's pregnant, <laughs> yeah. so I think she's pregnant. Yeah. I mean, she still has babies in there. there. <laughs> yeah, we'll get in there later. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, you can see babies. Horace we have babies baby. on the preserve <laughs> class name. Oh, so, oh, so, right. so, so you guys want to name the kittens? <laughs> <now? laughs> It's like a five it's bird, a you know, five for Jorge. one. Yeah. <laughs> and all the kittens. It was named Jorge. A female cat. I know, that was before they knew how to sex. Because okay. <laughs> Blaine's a whole bunch of problems. No, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. No, I'll give you a hard time. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm pulling all this fat right here mm-hmm. off. Yeah. So you should be able to see the ribs. Do you yeah. see the ribs? Yeah. yeah. Okay, guess what the muscles in between ribs are called? Uh, Inter- intercostals. Intercostals, yeah. Intercostals. You don't you don't have to know external and internal because we've actually changed that. We just want you to know what an intercostal looks like. Awesome. They're, they're the ones between ribs. Yeah, it's really easy. So these ones between ribs, intercostals. Okay. So you just have to see it. And then, you know, you can sort of see your internal oblique here, yeah. right? Because oh, okay. Okay. I got down to it, because now I'm not on ribs anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that, we're not that? dealing with external and internal intercostals. Oh, okay. We're just identifying intercostal muscles. Oh, okay. Like, where are they found? Between ribs, okay? Let's be straightforward. There's actually two layers. So the outer layer is external, the next layer is internal. But, you know, the cat's so small to see that. I mean, seriously. I, I just don't think cats are a good model to see that level of detail. On. I'll show it when we do respiration in the human. I'll show you what it looks like in the human. Not Anybody want to be a vet? Not okay, enough tuna. <laughs> and I'm not worried about it. Okay. All right. So those are intercostals. So you now need to. Oh, what was that number? Eleven and twelve. So you just need to know eleven. External intercostals. So I'm teaching you the outer ones. Okay. Um, and twelve, you can just cross off your list. Okay. And then there's actually forty-eight and forty-nine that you're going to cross off your list too. Not not too many things you cross off, but yeah, 11, 48, and 49. So you should now know